What's going on guys? Welcome back to Comic Island. My name is Joey and Marvel has done it again. Now it's super rare for comic books to create a new character by combining two existing ones but this time I think they've hit the nail on the head. Now Gore the God Butcher has been a huge delight reading but as for combined characters there hasn't been a lot I've really enjoyed reading. But then Marvel comes up with a Thanos wins event that created a side character that really stole the show. Aside from the awesome storytelling, we get treated to a side character that combines the vengeance of Frank Castle, the Punisher, combined with the spirit of vengeance, the Ghost Rider, and sprinkle in a bit of Deadpool humor. So today, we're going to be talking about the Cosmic Ghost Rider. So let's start where it all began. Following Thanos' triumph over his son Thane, with the powers of the Phoenix Force, Thanos conquers the Shatori homeworld of Shatori Prime. As he sits amongst his conquests, an entity comparable to the Phoenix Force arrives to take the Mad Titan. He is the spirit of vengeance, born of Hellfire and Brimstone. The former herald of Galactus, imbued with staggering cosmic power, his change forged from the bones of Sidorak, and he wields the fragment of the Time Jam. He is Frank Castle, the Cosmic Ghost Rider, and oh yeah, he is quite insane. Cosmic Ghost Rider takes Thanos against his will and brings him to the future millions of years later where he discovers that Thanos had already won. The Mad Titan was summoned by his older self, King Thanos. The Ghost Rider is only a lackey. But how did Frank Castle turn out to be this way, alive millions of years into the future? Before we continue this story, let's backtrack to when Castle was still human. When he was a younger man and not yet a cosmic field engine of time traveling murder, Frank Castle's homeworld of Earth was taken by Thanos himself. As he laid it dying, he only had one thought in his mind, what he would do to punish the purple SOB, to which the universe replied, anything? He struck a deal with Mephisto and got imbued with the spirit of vengeance, but there was nothing left. Thanos raised Earth so the Ghost Rider rode alone. Days turned into weeks and so on till a few hundred years passed by. Ghost Rider started to become a bit insane with the boredom. This is when the World Eater arrives. Now Galactus didn't come to consume Earth. He was gravely hurt by Thanos and the World Eater seeked asylum where he faced his greatest defeat. He thought Earth's heroes were still alive, but in actuality, they died eons ago, all except one. Ghost Rider was more than happy to finally meet someone who is real and not from his imagination. Galactus told the story of Thanos' campaign of death and destruction across the universe, of the fall of Adelan and the death of the Inhumans, the near extermination of the Shi'ar, the Kree, and the Skrulls. Thanos even had plans to kill the Council of Watchers and the Gods of the North. Galactus barely escaped the Titan's wrath due to the help of his herald, the Silver Surfer, whom he assumes is now dead. Now enough said, Frank Castle made up his mind. He made a second deal with the New Devil. Galactus imbued Frank with a power cosmic so that they can have their revenge upon the Mad Titan. Together they roared across the cosmos on a conquest to halt Thanos' systematic annihilation of every sentient being in existence. Their incredible story lasted centuries, their journey became legend. But when it came time to face off against Thanos, Galactus fell with easy but the Cosmic Ghost Rider could not be stricken down. Frank is already dead, he cannot be killed by Thanos. This intrigues the Destroyer, he offers Frank a deal. Come with him and stand by his side. Thanos will show Frank more evil than he can punish in a thousand lifetimes. Frank became the Ghost Rider from Mephisto, got the power cosmic from Galactus. Now, Frank Castle made his third and final deal with the Devil, and in doing so, he became the Black Rider, the Black Right Hand of the Mad King Thanos. It is said that the Ghost Rider's penance there is the great demonic equalizer. Once the victim stares upon it, the sinner will feel sorrow and despair tenfold from which he had inflicted upon others. For many, the penance stare is the last thing they will ever see because the pain is so strong that they gouge out their eyes. But then there is Thanos. Frank gave Thanos a penance stare and he wanted more. Every morning, the Mad Titan wakes up to a refreshing penance stare to the start of the day. Fast forward to the future, the Cosmic Ghost Rider has brought the Mad Titan to meet his future self, King Thanos, for one purpose, to prepare for a fight with the last remaining sentient entity in the universe, the Fallen One aka Galactus' final herald, Norrin Rad, the Silver Surfer. It took the Surfer eons to prepare for this battle and that is for one reason. 
he waited to be worthy. With Milnir at his side, the Silver Surfer brought pain to Thanos and his future self like never before. Cosmic Ghost Rider, a fellow herald of Galactus, challenged the Surfer but he gets destroyed by Milnir. Surfer let his guard down for one moment allowing King Thanos to shove Surtur's blade through his chest hence ending the once and powerful No One Red. Thanos wins is such an awesome story that we can dig deeper in a different video but today we are discussing the Cosmic Ghost Rider. For an entity that could never die, somehow he is dead but this is not the end. In Limbo, Frank Castle has a conversation with the Allfather Odin whom he welcomes into Valhalla. From the looks of it, his head flame goes away, revealing the man inside. This begins his own spin-off comic series, The Cosmic Ghost Rider. In his own series, we will meet a Frank Castle who woke up from a million year nightmare and discovers that he ran with Mephisto, Galactus and became King Thanos' lapdog. He was only welcomed into Valhalla because he was deemed a warrior by Odin. But the Frank Castle we know never wanted a reward. He wanted a path of vengeance for his family and all other family who was slain by the scumbags on Earth. So he rejects the gift of Valhalla, causing Odin to cast him out. Castle believed he was offered the spirit of vengeance and the power of cosmic again, but when he asked if he was able to keep his sanity, Odin said it would not be possible. Castle refused the powers, but Odin didn't give him a choice. Frank Castle's mind melted away into insanity, and all that was left was the spirit of vengeance imbued with the power of cosmic. He is the cosmic ghost rider once again, and his work is not done. He demands to be sent back back in time to the moon of Titan where he finds an infant 3 year old Thanos. Instead of doing the right thing and killing the mad Titan, Frank grows a weird conscious and decides to raise the baby so he will not grow up to commit genocide on the entire universe. Now we have a buddy cop type series with a Punisher amalgamated with a spirit of vengeance with Deadpool type humor and a toddler Thanos who is still innocent. This is such a smart idea for a series and it is no surprise that the Cosmic Ghost Rider stole the show in Thanos Wins. Frank Castle is a man all about vengeance for his family and he will go through endless lengths to achieve this. So combining him with a spirit of vengeance makes him the Cosmic Ghost Rider seems like a very logical thing to do. Making him insane through eons of time adds a charm that I rarely see in comics today. The difficult task now is for the writers to make the Cosmic Ghost Rider as layered as the original Frank Castle. This is the new insane version of him with the humor of Wade Wilson but with the tragic backstory of Frank Castle and then we throw in eons of untold story for when he was stranded on earth to his legendary journey with Galactus all the way to the things he had to do with King Thanos. There are tons of great stories that could be told and as depicted in issue 2 of Ghost Rider, we will meet a new version of the Guardians of the Galaxy with Cable leading the team. Many questions still exist such as, does he still have a fragment of the time gem? Will we see the same Frank Castle battle the insane Cosmic Ghost Rider for control of the body? Will the Cosmic Ghost Rider interact with the current heroes and can we please have him as a last ditch reveal in an epic upcoming event in the MCU? What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and want to support us, I recommend checking out our Patreon page. The link will be in the description below. Thanks again and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time in another Comic Island video.